Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us here on Midday Kentucky. I am thrilled to be out in Versailles today, checking out the Kentucky Castle. And one of the owners, Matt Dawson, invited us out. Thanks for having Midday Kentucky out today. We're thrilled to have you. And we drive by this just gorgeous castle all the time, but I think a lot of people aren't up to date with what's going on now. It's under new ownership. How long have you been one of the owners of the castle? We purchased it in July, so just about six months now. And when was this built? Can you give us a quick recap of how we got to where we are today? Sure. Well, it was built over about 30 years or some fits and stops. It was started in 1969. 1975, the original couple who were building it were divorced. Everything kind of stopped at that time. 2003, 30 years later, Tom Post, a Miami tax attorney, purchased it after the previous owner passed away. He started remodeling and then it burned to the ground in 2004. Okay. A lot of people probably remember driving by when it was on fire, saw the pictures of that. So he started rebuilding. It took him three years. He spent twice as much on the rebuild as the entire acquisition cost at first. And he finished in 2007 and opened to the public at that time. And I want to get to your amazing events in a second. But what I think is a little lesser known is your overnight accommodations for just the couple or the family. And we're inside one of your amazing suites right now, right? Sure, and we have quite a few rooms like this. All four of the corner rooms are this size, and then we have four other rooms that are even bigger. They're two-story chalets. So we've, we've tried to make them really beautiful rooms. Uh, to be honest with you, though, what we really want to be known for is our service. Okay. Um, having a beautiful space means nothing if you don't treat people great. And we want to treat everybody that comes in like we want our family to be treated. It really is like a bed and breakfast when you walk in, the way that you're greeted and everyone is taking care of you. So you could come just for an overnight stay, but even for an event. I know so many weddings are booked. What kind of other venues is this used for? Well, we actually just started a program where you can book a stay with an event. So our bourbon education, (laughs) our tours that we do on Sunday and Monday, a lot of different events we have like that you can book a night as well because you may not want to drive home after having a good time at dinner or the bourbon education. Uh, Plus, you won't want to leave once you see how beautiful it is on the inside. We're going to be showing people inside looks at your ballroom and and your restaurant. What are you seeing in terms of weddings? You can accommodate a big range of guests, right? Sure. We've had really intimate weddings of 15 to 20 where people run out of really small space, or we can do five or 600 that we can feed as well. So pretty much any size wedding, we can make it happen here. And even engagements. I know you have one on the rooftop tonight. We do. We do. We have engage. It's uh, we, honestly we have a several per week. If you okay. want to impress somebody, this is a place to bring them. So we have a lot of people coming here to propose. And you could also just come out here for dinner. I love that you're doing the farm to table restaurant mm-hmm. using local ingredients here. Tell us a little about that. We have so many great farms in this area. All all of the owners were from Central Kentucky. We're proud of our farms. We want to showcase those farms. We also want to produce as much as possible here on the property very soon. So we have 55 acres. We're turning that into a working farm. We have our beehives out in the back for the apiary, honey production in the spring to to pollinate everything. Our chickens are back there working as we speak, making eggs for us. We'll have our vegetable gardens up there. Um, We're going to have a flurd, a mix between a flock and a herd, sheep, cattle, goats, fruit and and nut orchards on the west. We've got a lot of plans for the farm. And everyone at home knows I love coaching at Girls on the Run. And what I've been seeing now on Facebook from their moms posting, the daddy-daughter princess dinners. Is that a recurring event? It's pretty much every Saturday night. Um, okay. Having three daughters, I think it's extremely important to have quality time with your daughter. Take her on dates, create memories, and we feel like this is a per- perfect opportunity to do that. And what an amazing venue to really feel like a princess here. And I wanted to bring them up to everyone. You're also doing a lot to give back to the community as well, right? Yeah, just the daddy-daughter dances in particular, just to mention those. We think that that's a very important thing for a dad and a daughter. And if so if mm-hmm. someone can't afford that, they can email me at matt at the KentuckyCastle.com, and we're happy to give them a scholarship. We'd love to have you out. Um, we also have a formal program called the Kentucky Fairy Tale. Um, we met a little girl who, uh, when she was four, was diagnosed with a very aggressive form of cancer, and her dream was to have her 10th birthday party at the castle. When we threw her a party and got the pictures afterwards and just saw her face and her family, we were really inspired to realize that we had a unique opportunity to do some special things for people in the community who deserve it. Mm-hmm. So we have a program called the Kentucky Fairy Tale. If you go to thekentuckycastle.com, you can nominate someone. So we would really love to spread the word about that and have people nominate as many people as we can. As good as we could. Well, we appreciate you doing that here in our community. And thank you for having us out today. Where should people go if they're interested in learning about you know, your calendar events or maybe booking a wedding? 
everything's on the website okay. thekentuckycastle.com. All right, thanks again for having us out. And we'll be right back with more Midday Kentucky after the break. <laughs> 